Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I'm going to show you how to make the Virgo Celestial Key from Fairy Tale. I hope you enjoy! Alright, so first off you're going to need gold clay, translucent clay, and red clay. I'm using female. Um, you're going to need a big ball and two medium balls, a small ball of translucent, and a tiny little ball of red. So first you're going to take the big ball and roll it into a log snake thing. Here I'm just measuring to see how long I should make it. Um, once you have that cut, you can move on to flattening one of your medium balls to make the top of the key. And here I'm just sketching out on a piece of clay um, the basic shape that I want. And it kind of looks a little like a horseshoe with a point at the top really similar to um, the Taurus key. So once you have the sides smoothed out, this is what it should look like. Now I'm just going to attach the um, body of the key to the head of the key and to do that I'm just emptying out a little place near the tip of the head and just smoothing it on there. You want to make sure that everything is really nicely attached so you can also do the same thing on the back of the key. Alright now with some of the leftover clay from your medium, one of your medium balls of gold clay, um, you're going to roll two logs with both of the ends skinnier than the middle. You're going to want to curl um, the longer tapered end into a curl and then do the same thing with the bottom, only make it uh, smaller than the top one. Alright, now you can take your second medium ball of clay and start working on the bottom. So you're going to want to cut it into a diamond kind of shape and then cut off the top or bottom of the diamond and then smooth out the edges. Alright, now I'm going to cut out the um, design on the inside and it's basically like three leaves. So you're going to cut out one um, for the tip of the diamond and then two on the sides and a little uh, circle right at the base of it. And once you smooth out the insides, uh, it should look something like this and then you're just going to want to attach it to the body of your key. So now with some leftover gold clay, uh, make two logs, fold them in half, making C's and attach them to the base of the key. Just like you did before for the head of the key, make two small spirals and attach them right underneath the C's um, attached to the bottom of the key. So this is what the base of the key should look like. Alright, now it's time for some smaller details. So take a small strip of flattened clay and attach it in between the C's. Then add two mini logs below and above. Um, now you are going to take, with some leftover clay, you're going to make mini S shapes with one side having a curl. And then you're going to attach it right underneath the head of the key making sure to secure it really nicely on the front and the back. Moving on to the top of the key, you're going to cut off the top so that it has a deeper space for the next chunk of clay that you're going to put in there. Then you're going to cut out a V shape and add another little chunk of clay to fill that V shape and then to finish off you're going to put a little dot on the top, insert a head pin, and you're good. Now I'm not sure what happened here, uh, I guess it didn't record, um, but you're just going to roll out your translucent clay and start cutting the shape of a heart, except before you get to the bottom, when you get around halfway, um, cut the top of a house roof, <laughs> or the bottom of an arrow, and that's kind of the basic shape that you're going for, for this key. Then you're going to take a really long, thin snake and just wrap it around the translucent just to make a sort of border. To add some more detail, you're going to take another um, thin strip, kind of like at the bottom, and put it in between the two small curls at the head of the key. Then you're going to take some more um, small snakes and wrap them just under that, and you're going to have two beside each other as well as on the bottom near the base of the key. 
For the last part, I'm just sketching out the Virgo symbol. And then um, once you have it drawn out, you're going to take your red clay and make some really, really small snakes and fill it in. Alright, this is what it should look like when it's done. Um, all you need to do now is bake and glaze it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, within the next few days, please expect a huge charm update. Please let me know what key you guys want me to make next. And if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!